Hello everyone, I'm Heather at Amalgam Mingle. Thank you very much for tuning into my video. What I would like to do today is just to provide a, a little demonstration on how to best farm tacos. Now, for those of you that have seen my tip video, I advised people to turn right instead of left when you first get the boat and head towards um, Ugly Duckling Island to farm tacos rather than go where the game wants you to go, turning left and fighting big boss man and scary stuff <laughs> um, so um, I've had quite a few comments on that video thank you very much for watching that as well um, quite a few people have said they've gone to the taco island and they've had some issues trying to battle the mighties the seed sprites and the thumb limers uh, and the tacos of course so I just wanted to do a little demonstration with this video uh, so, as you can see from this screen that's up now, Oliver is currently level 26. I've got my Griffey Familiar. I'll show you. My Griffey Familiar, which if you haven't got the Griffey yet, you can, um, you can get this Familiar by trading in Familiar tickets, which are in your bottomless bag, at the Temple of Trials. And then you can level this dude up. And he's got a quite high attack power, 149. He's not fully leveled up at the moment. He's only level 12, but he's very useful. Um, and Esther's only 25 and Swain's only 22. So with this lineup, I should be able to farm tacos. And also another preparation tip is to utilize alchemy. You want to make sure you've got plenty of magic and health restoring items. The magic one being the most important. So, as you can see, I've got 10 at the moment, uh, 10 cappuccinos, but there's the recipe that you need. Uh, cups of coffee, slumber knot leaves, creamy milk. Um, when I leave Castaway Cove, I'll show you where one slumber not leave leaf it is uh, so that you can get them yourself. So, let's just go right there. Um, I already recorded this once and for some reason it didn't record. <laughs> it's it's uh, quite annoying because um, it was a perfect take as well. The taco showed up straight away when I arrived on the island. It was perfect. I doubt that will happen this time. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so do you see that little little mountain over there? You can see the way to get round, just around there. Normally there's a twinkly spot, but I've already got it. Right in the centre. Um, so you can grab that, and that'll be a slumber knot leaf. So, let's head straight there, shall we? So, I'm following my advice exactly. Um, one thing I would highly advise as well is when you're playing and you want to be ready to actually take on the tacos, which is entirely optional, by the way. You don't have to do what I tell you to do. You can just go straight to where the game wants you to, uh, providing you're at least level 20, yeah, 26, I would say. Um, but anyway, piece of advice I want to give you is in each area, just make sure that you really get as much XP as you can. And the way that you know you've really exhausted XP in a certain area is when the familiars in that area start to run away from you rather than run towards you like these sea creatures are doing to me right now. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid them because I just uh, I don't want to get into a battle. I just want this to be a very instructional, functional video to help people. Right. So yeah, I'm getting a, a really good response to my tip video. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, I have done a more things video as well, but that does have a few spoilers in it. So I'd advise watching that once you've finished the story, at least. And um, I'm also doing a playthrough as well. And obviously I'm able to record this video because my playthrough is up to the, the same point in the game. <laughs> So, I thought, since I'm getting loads of comments on the video, saying people are struggling, then I, I'll post a separate video as well, specifically 
to focus on tacos. So as you can see, I've just gone clockwise around the island. Um, and you'll see where I end up. Again, this is not something you have to do. It's completely optional. In my first playthrough, I didn't even know that tacos existed. And I was perfectly fine. But if you want... You know, if you want it to be a, um, less of a challenge, I guess, a little bit easier, you can grind the XP. I think in my playthrough, I might not do that. I might just go straight, straight there. <laughs> I don't think it's fun for people to watch me just grind tacos for ages. <laughs> right, so as you can see, that is a collection of islands that make up Swan Island. But we're not going to this little one on the left here. And we're also not going to that big island over there. We're heading to a little strip of island, which is just behind the main one. I'll show you on the map when we're there. There's a taco again. Perfect. Right. So we are here. We want to approach the taco from behind. It's extremely skittish. Oh, that's not a taco. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Right, well, let's get on with a demonstration anyway. Let's take on this Thumblimer. So, before we begin this battle, I just want to say that um, you also need to think about strategy. I have quite a lot of existing knowledge on which and what familiars are capable of. So I know that the first thing I want to do is take out the Mighty because he has a habit of doing his cut loose move, which is quite a pain and it does cause a bit of damage. So I'll take him out first and I'm going to choose my Griff here because he's really strong and you'll see for yourself, hopefully. Right, first thing I want to do, Phantom Fangs, Mighty. Look, he's trying to do cut loose. There we go. <laughs> That's why I want to take him out first, because it's a pain in the backside. But, you know, belly buster instead. There we go. Look, it took quite a lot of his life there. Phantom Fangs again before he's got a chance to do anything. And he's dead. He's dead. Right, so what I want to do next is take out the Seed Sprite. Because that one, it has um, healing powers. So he's going to end up healing... Um, he's going to end up healing his mates. Let me just heal Esther before she dies. <laughs> and then I want to take one of these cappuccinos as well. And then I'm going to get my Griffy, oh, Griffy back out again. Swain's going to die, but that's okay. As long as Oliver's alive, he's perfectly fine. So, Belly Buster, Dumblimer next. I take him out because he's got hardly any life left, so that's fine. So, even if he does heal, he only heals himself. There we go. And I'll just attack him outright. There we go. Dead. Done and dusted. Um, it's also important to run around as well. Remain active on the battlefield. There we go. Not as much XP as a taco, but <laughs> a demonstration nonetheless. Hopefully we'll run into a taco while we're here as well. But between battles, let's make sure we're all... Hey, there we go. Give him that as well. Make sure we're all stocks up. There we go. Very useful. That's why I recommended when you are farming tacos to make sure you've got a lot of MP and HP restoring items. Oh, there's one. There's a taco. Right. What we want to do, approach him from behind. Wait until he comes behind. We do not want to scare him. <laughs> He'll disappear. Right, so I think he's going to walk back. Maybe. Oh, wait. Don't scare him. 
Okay, that's fine. He's still there. See, see how skittish it is? So let's go this way. Wait until he turns around. There we go. Right, go, 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 go. Get him, get him. Yes, got him. Right, okay. So, Toco. Right, normally... Normally, I'd go for a mighty, but you want to get that taco, kill it as soon as possible because it's skittish and it will run away from the battle and then you've lost the XP. So, hopefully, we can uh, be quick on the draw with this. Get the taco straight away with the phantom fangs. There we go, he's dead. He's dead. So, as long as you win this battle now, you'll get the XP. <laughs> Just make sure you kill him first. Otherwise, he will he will flee. And then um, I'm going to get the mighty next because his cut loose is very annoying. <laughs> nope, we don't want to keep you. Let's just kill him. There we go. Look at that. We're just battering him. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Right, there we go, leveled up with just one taco. Now, if you were to do that a few times, I'm pretty sure you'd level up significantly. Just a few tips, make sure you've got enough HP and MP restoring items. Be patient as well, you know, you have to, you do have to run up and down sometimes on the island before one appears. But when it does, as you can see, it's worth it. So yeah, uh, use the Griffey. Doesn't matter if your companions die, you know, just keep Oliver alive. If Oliver does die, you can switch to other companions and use a phoenix feather to revive him. So yeah, that's it for the tutorial. I hope this is helpful to people and I hope this also better answers some questions that was raised in my tip video. I've been Heather at Amalgamingle. Thank you very much for watching and also thank you for watching my tip videos as well. All right, thank you very much. Bye.